There's no shortage of chunky Campbell soup to choose from when you're craving a quick canned meal. But you'll never guess which flavor comes out on top. In our ranking of select Campbell soups from worst to best, the bottom spot goes to their split pea soup with ham. This Campbell soup offers a unique flavor experience, but it's an acquired taste for even the most staunch soup lovers. The smell of the soup after you heat it up is an omen foretelling a mouthful of trouble. The natural smoke flavor packs a debilitating punch, making this soup difficult to consume unless you have a powerful affinity for smokiness. It leaves a bitter aftertaste in the mouth. The texture also doesn't do the soup any favors, with a sludginess that is less like a ready-to-eat soup and more like the base you combine with other essential cooking ingredients. This is a soup you won't regret passing over in the grocery aisle. The label on this soup, brimming with appetizing images, beckons you to embrace the hearty goodness within. It's almost poetic. Bits of sirloin steak, potatoes, and fresh veggies, all drowned in a soothing broth. A quick, simple, tasty meal after a long, hard day at work. At least, that's what it would have you believe. But this soup leaves much to be desired. Not even Oliver Twist would ask for more. Please, sir. I want some. More? When you eat a spoonful of this soup, it's like a sip of lighter fluid, and a runny texture doesn't help the unpleasant taste. You'd expect a chunky soup to have some body and thickness, right? Unfortunately, this one is watery like a kiddie pool, almost as if Campbell's decided to leave the hardiness out of the hearty vegetables part, and the scant morsels of meat you stumble upon are like rare treasures. A good pot roast can warm your heart and belly on a cold winter night, so this soup should naturally appeal to those who enjoy the comforts of a home-cooked meal. But this is one divisive soup. For some, it's a salty shock to the system, with a peculiar processed meat taste. Texture-wise, the soup is decent. It's not too watery, which is a plus, and the scent is pretty agreeable without being too strong or assertive. But here's the rub. It doesn't quite capture the essence of a genuine pot roast. Campbell's has a reputation for offering soups that emulate homemade flavors pretty well, so this one is a bit of a letdown. Then there's the potato ratio. Potatoes are delightful, but in a pot roast soup, you expect a hearty blend of meat, carrots, and spuds, right? But here, it seems the ingredients got their roles mixed up, and the potatoes erroneously took center stage. A rebalancing is needed for this soup to change its status as more than a mediocre last-minute dinner dish. In other words, Hey, where's the beef? Campbell's Chunky Sirloin Burger with Country Vegetable Soup is an absolute mouthful of a name, alluding to the kind of soup that could make even a lumberjack feel full. It's got a great symphony of ingredients swimming around in the broth. Potatoes, onions, carrots, green beans, tomatoes, and those little round sirloin burger pieces. This soup isn't playing around, but there's a problem. Campbell's is skimping on the burger. So if you're craving a meaty explosion with each bite, you might be left searching. Some might also find the soup a touch too salty, so if your taste buds are sensitive in that way, be prepared. Still, some really good flavor intermingling with the salt curtain makes this soup pretty appetizing, especially when you're in a rush or just too tuckered out to cook after a long workday. Campbell's tomato soup is a staple in many households and, for some, an irreplaceable part of their weekly dinner routine. The soup has a nostalgic quality to it, creamy and hearty, like the homemade tomato soups prepared for you on a cold winter night. Just add a dollop of heavy cream and a few well-chosen seasonings, and this smooth delight will go from mm-mm good to wow, it's kind of amazing. You can get these delicious results without all the pot stirring and vegetable chopping madness, making it a win-win. There is a slight bitter aftertaste, but the gentle sweetness masks it well. The best part of this soup is its versatility. It's like the chameleon of comfort foods, ready for any occasion or weather. Of course, tomato soup is only as good as the sides you eat it with. It's creamy and dense, so you need an accompaniment that will provide a textural contrast. Think crispy crackers, pita bread, goldfish, or gooey grilled cheese. They all take this soup to the next level of scrumptiousness. The next time you're looking for something warm and familiar, a can of this soup may be just what you need. Picture this, a soothing chicken broth, generously filled with round, wonton-like pasta, earthy spinach leaves, and plump meatballs. Your mouth is watering, right? This soup is a beautifully textured medley that will capture your taste buds with each spoonful. It's a one-bowl wonder because it's packed with veggies, protein, and carbs, 
leaving you feeling like you've just dined at an Italian wedding feast. However, some palettes may find the understated flavor profile somewhat bland, needing a pinch of something extra to give it a little kick. You might also find the meatballs somewhat spongy. Still, unlike some other Campbell's soups that skimp out on the meat, the meatballs in this dish are the highlight, hearty and abundant, so you feel like you've got your money's worth. Honestly, all the ingredients play their role as they should and taste fresh and inviting for what you're getting. With a bit of personal seasoning added to the mix, you've got yourself a delicious dish that even the unlikeliest soup fan will enjoy. Hey, Jerry! I didn't know you liked soup. Hard to believe. A tasty tribute to the sea, this genius collaboration with Old Bay Seafood Seasoning brilliantly captures the essence of that zesty spice blend without losing the classic clam chowder charm people adore from Campbell's. It's a cozy, comforting bowl of goodness through and through. Rich, creamy, and effortlessly satisfying, this soup will have you sighing in relief on those days when you don't have the energy to whip up a feast from scratch. Since this soup is generously seasoned with Old Bay, it has a spicy kick that adds a nice zing, ensuring each spoonful packs a flavorful punch. But on the flip side, it is Old Bay, which means that, like many of Campbell's soups, it can be a little salty. Campbell's has a lot of varieties, so they should consider a low-sodium version for those who prefer less salt in their diet. If you're one of those Old Bay diehard stands, this soup is a treasure to your senses. And for the newbies, this soup's unique flavor is enough reason alone for you to try it out and, perhaps, discover a newfound love for this oceanic seasoning delight. As a brand, this chunky classic chicken noodle soup is a quintessential flavor in Campbell's lineup. It's fair to say the simplicity of this soup is its charm, making it the poster child of comfort. When it was released back in 1991, it received the highest home-use test scores ever for a Campbell's product, solidifying its place as a staple for many. This soup charmingly captures the essence of home cooking more than any other Campbell's product. With noodles, generous chunks of chicken breast, tender carrots, and celery, it's like an old family recipe passed down through generations. You won't find any avant-garde flavors here. This is not a groundbreaking soup but its familiar and agreeable flavors will melt the hearts of everyone, from kids to adults. It's exactly what you want from a homemade chicken noodle soup. This soup also pairs well with a classic grilled cheese sandwich or a side salad, harmonizing the textures and flavors. It's truly a last-minute meal savior, the go-to for when you don't have the time or patience. Capturing the essence of Gumbo's South Louisiana and West African roots, this spicy chicken and sausage gumbo from Campbell's transports you to the bayous and jazz-filled streets of New Orleans with one whiff. It's a hearty mix of meat, rice, and vegetables drowned in a tasty, rich broth that delivers an excellent recreation of homemade gumbo. Offering a party in your mouth without all the hassle of cooking and waiting for all the ingredients to finish simmering. This soup is packed with flavor. There are a lot of spices in this soup that give it an impactful and memorable taste, like garlic, green and red peppers, onions, cayenne pepper, chili pepper, paprika, and more. With so many spices used to add a kick to the soup, it also packs some heat. The spiciness is the most defining trait of this dish, which may be too much for some unsuspecting consumers who do not expect it to be that intense. But for the spicy food lovers out there, this one is a gem. This gumbo will make the perfect dish for heat seekers and hungry bellies wanting a little adventure, a fulfilling soup that doesn't shy away from a bit of heat. Hope you had your chunky soup, eyebrow man. Maybe I did. Pretty boy. I'm a pretty man! This pub-style chicken pot pie soup does many things right and sits comfortably near the top of comfort food country. A soup should fill and soothe the eater, and this product channels the spirit of a traditional chicken pot pie down to a tea. It's hard to turn down a steaming bowl of this soup filled to the brim with tender chicken chunks, soft dumplings, corn, tender carrots, and peas. The aroma is intoxicating and homey, filling the room and beckoning you to dig in. It's the best part of a chicken pot pie without the crust. Of course, some may argue that the best part of a chicken pot pie is the crust. Sure, the lack of that golden flaky crust is a tad disappointing because it would add a nice layer of texture to contrast the richness of the filling. But that's no shade to this soup. After all, it's only a soup, but a darn good one. If you still need that crust-like experience when eating the soup, then biscuits make the perfect sidekick, stepping in as a reliable and delicious substitute for that missing crust. When the pot pie craving suddenly hits and you're in the mood for a comforting bowl of soup, this one gives you the best of both worlds. 
crust or no crust. The number one best Campbell's soup has no competition when it comes to perfectly hitting all the criteria that make an impeccably delicious, soul-warming, and hearty soup. Campbell's Chunky Creamy Chicken Noodle Soup blows all other soups out of the water by a sizable margin. This fan favorite has the best texture for a soup. It's rich and creamy, but not so thick that it's hard to eat after a few spoonfuls. The consistency is so smooth, you can't help but want to dig in for another bite. Few things in this world are perfect, but this soup comes very close. It has an aromatic, tantalizing scent that wafts up from the bowl and is truly irresistible as you wait for it to cool off. Actually, you'll struggle not to eat it right away, so be careful not to scorch yourself. But once it's cooled down enough, all bets are off, and it's time to fully enjoy the lusciousness of this soup. It is flavorful with the right amount of saltiness and seasoning. It's an easy, palatable dish that anyone can enjoy. It takes the familiar concept of traditional chicken noodle soup and amplifies it so that fans will likely develop an insatiable craving for more. It's true that chunky isn't always a word that has great connotations, but Campbell's Chunky Creamy Chicken Noodle Soup is the exception that proves the rule and justifies the whole line of chunky products.